And I could really use her companionship on those sad days like I had yesterday or the last couple of days. And, uh, uh, yeah, she probably could use me too. She needs love too. She deserves the love. She's got such soft hair. I think she has a little, like, anxiety. Like, if I would leave, you know, the house, she'd be barking so bad. And when I get home, and it's nice, uh, you know, it's nice to be loved and missed. But, again, you feel bad knowing you're going to be gone all day. And it was to the point where I'd be coming home from work. I work generally 7 to 3 at uh, my job at Super Target. And, uh, you know, I'd get home at 3.20 or whatever, and I'd, ha I'd get to pick up my son at 4, but I'd only have time for a few-minute walk with her. And before I put her back in the house and left to go pick up my son and do our thing, and I just felt kind of bad about it. And I miss her, and I wish I had her here. Pretty hard. My buddy does a nice job mowing. I thought he does a nice job mowing, or did a nice job mowing. Maybe he knew I'd be coming over last night needing to talk. And uh, knowing, knowing that I was going to do my uh, Coffee with Ken show on his patio. <laughs> I'm sure that he did. He has great foresight and vision. <laughs> he could have been a point guard or a quarterback. But he wasn't either. So let's have a little more coffee. My left foot's falling asleep. Oh, thank you so much, Steve Fisher, for following the live creator. I appreciate that. Again, I've been on here uh, in November, mid-November. It'll be two years on TikTok. And I really enjoy it. And uh, I really enjoy it. <laughs> and uh, watching the audience grow every day. And uh, watching... Uh, I don't know. Things happen. And, uh, I don't know. If I'm going to, some people say, oh, are you taking notes? Because I think my story is kind of an interesting one. And I bet we all have interesting stories. I bet if we look back, uh, I don't know, at least for me, if I look back on, uh, we need you on live more to keep sending gifts. Well, I appreciate RJ. I like the gifts. I think my power was only at 32% when I tuned on this morning. And I would hate for it to, uh, go beep, 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 and all of a sudden be gone. But if it does ever go beep, 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 and I go blank, assume that my power was out on my phone. But at 32%, I think I should be able to get a good 40 minutes of talking in or so. Uh, I believe in the last month, a couple times I went on at like 27% and I talked for half an hour and it worked out okay. But, but a couple times I did it, ironically, not ironically, but just strangely, I'd go in and plug it in and I'd be at like one or 2%. So I must have ended the show just on time. Uh, Angela, thank you, or Lynn, I mean, thank you so much uh, for following the live creator. And uh, RJ and Angela, thank you for sending the gifts. I so appreciate you guys sending gifts. Are these the kind of gifts? I know you guys can send diamonds and those are nice. <laughs> I don't know what anyone pays for a diamond, and I don't know what they're totally worth for me, but it seems like a diamond is worth about a penny. So I'm hoping nobody's paying like two bucks in the TikTok store uh, to buy a diamond, to give it to a live creator, to have it only be worth a penny for the live creator. I hope they work out some fair deal, but I do appreciate it, and it does make me smile a little bit. And sometimes you can get send gifts, and I don't even know how to do it because I never really watch live videos. I just kind of do it. Uh, well, thank you, Lynn. Um, and all of a sudden, yeah, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Suddenly I'll have a hat on or a mustache or a sombrero. And it's, I mean, I think it's hilarious. I think it's hilarious. But I, again, I, I clip, I go back and I rewatch these live videos and I clip them into smaller ones for, um, that I can post as little TikToks or YouTube shorts or uh, Facebook reels. And I post on all of those because all those platforms are growing as well. And sometimes I'll be, <laughs> you know, my show takes on different sort of, <laughs> somebody just sent me a raccoon. Somebody sent me a raccoon. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. 
See, it's okay now because I'm having a jovial conversation. But sometimes I'll be in a heart-wrenching conversation talking about lost love or pain or anxiety or depression or addiction. And suddenly I'll have some big sombrero and a mustache on. And although I think it's kind of funny, <laughs> when I'm going back to post them as shorts or TikToks or what have you, it uh, <laughs> kind of changes the mood. <laughs> you know, and I appreciate them. You send them whenever you want to send them. You send them whenever you want to send them. I appreciate it. You're Angela, for anybody watching, and is into kind of cool, crafty sort of uh, stuff. Uh, check out Angela's page. She does a neat job. And what I, I think a little bit what I do, and I think uh, it's a smart sign, is to make your prod, your almost your commercials. And a lot of my shorts are like commercials. You make them commercials for whatever you're selling, but you make them entertaining and give some sort of value. And she does, she makes these cool little crafty cards and does, adds some music that is thematic to the theme of the card. And uh, uh, it's actually entertaining to listen to the music and observe the pretty cards she makes. Hey, uh, thank you. Observe the pretty cards she makes. Uh, with the music and get her kind of an inside feeling of what she was thinking when she designed the card. At least that's my perception. I'm not totally sure that's exactly what's going on. Uh, but it, it, again, it's she posts pictures of her cards and plays a music, and her cards are very beautiful. And uh, again, when you incorporate the music in, you kind of get a inside perspective on what the creator was thinking. And uh, I don't know, if anyone wants to follow somebody that makes pretty cards, check out Angela's page, who's liking my live right now. Maybe that's the key. You highlight the viewers. You talk about the viewers, and they start sending you sombreros and mustaches. And maybe you big build an audience out of it, and it grows, and it becomes a community, and you build up millions and millions of viewers. And I leave my job at Super Target. <laughs> I leave my job at Super Target and become a digital creator or a content creator, which is kind of funny. This looks like a fish hook, by the way. <laughs> I had this little twig sitting here. And my buddy and I, I'll tell you a story about this, friend. My buddy and I were fishermen most of our lives. And his parents were fishermen and would take us fishing a lot. And I got a fly fishing rod for Christmas. And I don't know how much you guys know about fishing or fly fishing, but you go like this and it's kind of, <laughs> thank you for sending me my elephant nose. <laughs> but anyway, it's kind of a, be if you've ever seen the movie uh, River Runs Through It with Brad Pitt, it, you'll think a lot of, uh, you know, me fly fishing looks a lot like Brad Pitt fly fishing. You might get us confused if you saw us out on the water. But anyway, we were kids and I was fly fishing in the area and he, unbeknownst to me, got behind me. I kid you not. I snagged him <laughs> in the head with my fly and it embedded in his head and his parents must have dropped us off. And I think it was called York pond or York fishing area or whatever, which was probably 20 minutes from where we lived. And his mom had to come out. I don't think I continued fishing, but he went into the, they had a place where he was sitting in and they're going, oh, going to have to take this kid to the doctor. He's got a fish hook in his head. And he got, had to go to the emergency room or the, I don't know, <laughs> immediate care center or something. And I think they had to actually run the hook through and clip it off and then pull it through because my fish, hey, my fish hook had a barb in it. So you couldn't just yank it out. Fortunately, we're still friends and he made it through, but it was a harrowing experience. And that's my uh, story about my friend and fishing. Oh, heading to Montana to fly fish. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. I've never been to Montana. Uh, but I think it's a place I'd like to go. I haven't been out west for a while, and I haven't uh, uh, been in the mountains. I haven't really done much traveling. Again, I think my mind's been preoccupied, and my life's been kind of 